Austin police still trying to figure out how a young shoplifting suspect ended up in the back of a patrol car with a gun. He ended up shooting himself, but police say that the outcome also could have been very different with other people in the area. So here is the timeline of how everything happened. Police arrested the man who is in his late teens or early 20s. That was at the Barton Creek Square Mall around noon on Sunday. Police couldn't figure out his name, so they were taking him to the station to be fingerprinted. And then police say on the way there, the man started talking about taking his own life. When the officer asked him, do you actually have the means to do that? He said yes. And Chief Brian Manley says that the officer then pulled over near a crowded bar, got out of his patrol car, and then the suspect in the back of the car pulled out a gun. Police say the man held the gun to his head for six minutes before he eventually pulled the trigger. Was there a danger to the officer inside the car? Absolutely, there was a danger. Um, if, uh, if this individual had chosen to remove that weapon and fire at the officer instead without saying something, we could be here discussing a very, uh, a very different in incident here today. Chief Manley says the entire ordeal was captured on video. Manley says officers are, of course, supposed to search suspects before they put them in the car, but at this point, it's unclear if he actually did that search. The suspect was taken to UMC Brackenridge in critical condition. But as we mentioned, the big question is, did the officer conduct that search? And, and if they did, how was that person able to bring a gun into the car? Sure. So Alicia Inns is live in downtown Austin where the shooting happened with more on how police are trained to search suspects. Good morning. Hey, good morning. You know, police tell us any time that they make an arrest, there's always that potential safety threat, whether it's to the officer, whether it's to the suspect involved, even the people in the surrounding area. And in this particular case, the officer actually pulled over and stopped right around this area on Lavaca in downtown Austin, right next to a bar, a busy area where a lot of people were inside watching Sunday football. But this is the important part, the weapon here, because when it comes to suspects having a weapon on them, that's when we talked to retired APD officer Jerry Staten, who's now a tactical trainer, and he says each situation is very different because some officers choose to handcuff first and then do a pat down, whereas others search the area where the handcuffs are going to be beforehand on that person. He says most weapons are hidden along the belt line, and the place where most weapons go undetected is the groin area where some officers could get timid with their search. The goal, he says, is to limit mistakes. Officers should do a thorough search consistently the same way. We want to be meticulous and, and cautious and, and uh, not let the routine of doing it on a regular basis um, get to the point where you get overlooked stuff. And after they're handcuffed and you know they're going in your car, then it needs to be a, a careful, methodical, thorough um, verification that they do not have weapons secreted somewhere. And get this, Staten actually told us that it's actually very common to find a weapon on a suspect after they have been taken into jail and they're searched at the jail, meaning that the initial arresting officer might have missed that weapon while they were conducting the search and arresting them out in the field before taking them to jail. These weapons found inside the jail. But of course, what happened exactly in this situation? I know there's a lot of questions still, so we're going to hopefully get some of those questions answered from police today as this investigation continues and we'll keep you posted. For now, we're live in downtown Austin. Alicia Inns, KXAN News.